Sentenced for his role in preparing a massacre, the International Criminal Court had already convicted Jaman Katanga of several charges, including murder and pillage. On Friday, he was jailed for 12 years, although allowing for his time in custody in The Hague, he'll serve about half of that. The Chamber is of the view that Germain Katanga has made a significant contribution to the commission of a number of crimes committed by the group of commanders and combatants from Lendubindi. In March, judges found Katanga guilty of four counts of war crimes and one count of crimes against humanity. They relate to a 2003 attack on Bogoro, a village in northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo, targeting a rival militia and ethnic Hema civilians. Up to 200 people were attacked while they were sleeping and hacked or shot to death. Many women were raped and used as sex slaves. Judges also accepted that child soldiers were used in the attack. Jaman Katanga's trial here in The Hague lasted more than four years. In the end, his sentence was nowhere near the maximum 25 years which the prosecution had asked for. And some observers say the ICC should be sending a stronger signal to people implicated in war crimes and crimes against humanity. The legal team representing many families from Bogoro are worried that a sentence seen as lenient could encourage further atrocities in the region. I'm not sure that uh, 12 years is that much uh, uh, convincing or persuasive of over someone who has been in a bush for many years, committing those crimes for many years and still enjoying impunity. And for this independent advisor to the ICC prosecutor, the fact Katanga was acquitted of any connection to the sexual crimes is a big disappointment. 60% of the individuals charged by the ICC um, have been charged with some form of sexual violence. So the intention um, of the prosecutor to prosecute these crimes is, I think, unambiguous. Um, but I don't think we're, we're seeing the kind of results or the kind of jurisprudence or the kind of decisions um, that are yet supporting um, uh, the deterrent factor of, of a formal accountability process. Katanga's defence team has already appealed against the convictions and could now appeal against the sentencing as well. For now, this former Congolese warlord is starting a jail sentence far from his native country. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, The Hague.